Hello and welcome back to Life Marketing, a digital marketing agency that helps small businesses grow. I'm Jelly and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Canva Smart Mockups for your business visuals. Canva Smart Mockups make for great lifestyle images to feature on your social media pages, ads, or your website. Currently, Canva Smart Mockups feature laptop and computer screens, phone screens, and even product mockups for books, ebooks, t-shirts, hoodies, envelopes, mugs, and picture frames. Depending on your business though, there's a few of these options you can't use very much. So let's start with the smart mockups you can use regardless of your business, and that would be your screen mockups. Whatever your business may be, you'll be able to take screenshots of the platform you're selling your products or services in. This can be your website or your social media page. Secure a screenshot of your website or page through either your browser or mobile phone view. Once you have that, we can proceed to Canva's website to create our smart mockups. Let's say we're making a social media post showing our audience our website. Before anything else, let's upload our screenshot. Once it's on your canvas and selected, click Edit Image and scroll down till you see Smart Mockups and click that. Since we have a screenshot of our website, we can choose any of the Smart Mockups with laptop or desktop screens. It's best to go for less design elements with lifestyle images, so this one's pretty much done. You can use images like these to post on social media to entice your audience to visit your website. A similar process can be done with a mobile phone screenshot of your page as well. For both website and phone screenshots though, instead of the lifestyle image smart mockups which are set as full images, you can also use single mockups with just the devices and no backgrounds. It's with these smart mockups that you can have fun and incorporate to all sorts of different designs for different purposes and even add animations to turn into moving graphics. Hey, we just helped a small business make over $1.5 million through Facebook advertising. And after managing millions of dollars in ad spend for thousands of different small businesses, we have decided to give away everything we learned to you in a special program. If you wanna learn the blueprint to success, the best practices from some of the fastest growing companies in the world, and all of the different tools you will need, then sign up for our social ads training program today. Now for the product mockups. We can currently impose our images in books, ebooks, hoodies, t-shirts, envelopes, mugs, and picture frames, catering mostly to apparel brands or print-on-demand businesses. But since this is Canva, there's a huge chance they will update their smart mockup library with more options, so definitely stay tuned. For now, I'll walk you through how you can use what's currently available. Upload the image you'll be imposing into the mockups and click Edit Image. Click on Smart Mockups and select a mockup you want to use. I should also mention, depending on where you're placing your image into, you'll want to upload prints like this as a transparent PNG with no background so that it'll incorporate seamlessly into the mockup. If your image has a background, you can try using the background remover tool to remove it. Once you've selected a product mockup, you'll also have the option to change the color of the object. This is especially helpful if you're selling any of the product mockups here and you're selling them in multiple colors. In this case though, I just want the color of the mug to fit my branding because the mug isn't what I'm primarily selling since this brand sells coffee beans. And technically, this is just merch. Great, you can stop here and you'll have a pretty neat lifestyle image. The same process can apply to other smart mockups, but if you want to make it more unique, since other people will be using these mockups from Canva, I've got a nice little trick for you. Save your image to PNG or JPEG and load it back into Canva, but be sure to add a background container first, like this. At this point, we're going to use the background removal tool to remove the background our image currently has. If the mockup you selected doesn't work well with the smart background removal tool, we do have a previous video on how to remove backgrounds to your objects, so be sure to check that out and circle back to this video after. Once your background is removed, pick a nice new background that fits your branding better or just makes it look different from the original. So now because you changed the background, it won't look exactly the same as other businesses that may decide to use the same product mockup from Canva. Of course, as with any graphic you use for your business, you want it to look as unique as possible. Feel free to play around with what setups you can put together using Canvas library of elements and images. Also, the smart mockup and background removal tool features are only currently available for pro accounts. And given how useful these features are, they're huge reasons to subscribe to a pro Canva account.
And that is it for today's video. If you learned anything from this guide, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more essential digital marketing guides. Once again, this is Jelly from Life Marketing, and I'll see you in the next one.